Hey there, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today we're gonna to be talking about something that might save your butt on your bike. Stick around. So yesterday on my first real, well, I guess it was technically like my second real ride back after I was rehabbing my ACL here for the last six months, I had a little bit of an interesting thing happen that hadn't happened to me before. Now, it might have been because I, you know, my, my skills are a little bit rusty. It might have been a number of uh, things. But within about two minutes of me hitting the single track again uh, yesterday, I was reaching for the brake lever, needing to, needing to slow down and the rear brake lever and I missed it with my boot. Now it might've been because it might've been because I was, wasn't, you know, as, um, I was a little bit rusty and, and keeping my toe a little bit too far out. And I went to, went to, you know, hit the brake and I missed it. This is that this is that little brake lever, that brake tip lever, and I missed that. Now I've never really had the problem before, um, but then I was with Tyler, and Tyler had one of these Enduro Engineering uh, brake tips on his bike, and he's like, he he's like, you should you should get one of these for your bike because it sticks out more. It's a more aggressive. Uh, tip and it sticks out more and you can see this I'll take you over to the bench in just a second But these but this brake tip from Enduro engineering actually sticks out about another half of an inch outside of you know bigger than the um, Than the stock brake tip So I'm going to install this on my on both of my bikes right here on this 250 XC and this 300 XC WTPI right here because that makes it so much easier. And I, I, I verified it by riding Tyler's bike, his 300XC, which had this installed. It's so much easier to grab onto this with the tip of your boot. I'm gonna take you over to the bench here so we can take a look at these a little bit closer. Just as a side note, I don't get paid to say any of this stuff from Enduro Engineering. I bought these things off Rocky Mountain ATV, um, two, of the, two of these guys. So you can see the stock, the stock size is quite a bit smaller than this Enduro Engineering um, brake tip. So I really like it. it. It's pretty much a half of an inch uh, out here further, half of an inch longer this way. Uh, and then it's just much more meaty as far as um, being able to, your, your boot to be able to clamp onto that and, and get traction, get control of that. So anyway. I like these things a lot. You can see there's a couple of different holes that they've got uh, drilled in this thing so it can install in on multiple bikes. There's only one place. It doesn't look like you can install it in different positions as I looked at it over on the bike. Uh, but that is going to make for uh, a much easier time of finding, uh, finding the, the brake. And hopefully that will make it so I don't crash again <laughs> with that. Or at least make it a little bit harder for me to crash in that way. Installation of this guard couldn't be more simple. Uh, you're going to use the same bolts that you used on your with your stock um, tip, and then I'm just going to use some red thread locker here uh, to make sure that this doesn't come off. There's a couple different holes as you can see, um, but I looked at this and it's only going to install one way on this thing. They probably cut a couple different holes on it so that it could do. Um, multiple bikes get my ratchet turned the right way and i'll start that one and then i'll apply some thread locker on this guy and then start it it's a uh, it's a torx um 25 bit on these newer ktms i do not want them to come off And that should be good. All right, beefy and sharp. That will cut you now. Sucker is so sharp. Sharp, sticks out nice and good. 
So as you can see, dead easy to install these things. I don't get paid to do these video reviews. I bought these myself on Rocky Mountain ATV. If you look down in the video description, I have links. Uh, please use those links if these, if these videos do any bit of value to you because that is one way that I'm uh, supporting my family now is by using the links, by you guys using the links down in the video description. I paid $26.99, I think, for these things. Um, so 27 bucks and I bought one, of the, one for this bike and one for that bike. Um, that's my, the only complaint is 27 bucks. It's a, it's a little bit spendy, but I don't think these things are going to break. I think these things are very beefy and I will try to use this on two or three bikes. I will take this off my bike when I sell it, put the stock one back on and then put this one on, on the new bike that I get. So if I can find parts that I can use again and again on new, on, you know, multiple bikes, then that's where this becomes, um, it becomes a lot more economical. Uh, because if it was 27 bucks on every bike, then you know that's one thing. But I think I can use this on two or three bikes in the future. So I do think that this is going to help me because I saw it help me yesterday when I got on Tyler's bike. It was just much easier to reach that brake pedal and not miss it. So even though I'm not a huge aftermarket parts guy, if there's something that's definitely going to solve a problem that I have, and yesterday I had a major problem with it, then I'm totally open to looking at it. If it's if it doesn't solve a problem that I have then I, I, I'm not much for putting it on my bike. So anyway, if you wanna support us again, look at the links down in the video description for Rocky Mountain ATV, Motorsport, even Amazon. Uh, you can go to patreon.com and do a monthly tip over there. I would be forever indebted to you um, because this is how I'm supporting my family now. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And as I find other products and things that I think are very, very good, um, I'm gonna bring them to you. So thanks for Enduro Engineering for making a quality part right here and I'm excited to uh, use them more on my bikes in the future. Thanks guys.